Hi, this is Scott Wenkiewicz. In my course, Camera to Completion Lightroom Workflow course, I talk a lot about your own workflow, having your own workflow that is really your personal thing, that it's not just a workflow that somebody said this is the best way. And in doing so, I talk a lot about reasons that I do certain things in Lightroom. And I talk about why I use stars versus color labels or versus flags. And so I wanted to show you another little tip outside of my course for free, real quick in this little video about um, what you can do if you are a colorblind like me with masking in Lightroom. So you can see here I have, um, I'm on the brush, so I have a brush and uh, let me actually close this pane over here, make this a little bigger. And I'll actually close this pane, make that bigger. Okay, so I have a brush here. Now, I actually did brush on the gentleman that you see in the center. And if I go up and down with the exposure, you can actually see that right there. And I actually did brush on him. But let's say you didn't know. And I wanted to hit the O key to see where I masked the brush. Now, by default, Lightroom goes to red. But let's say you're colorblind and don't see red. Now, I have a friend that is actually red deficient, he cannot see red. So if you are colorblind and you cannot see red, you can hit shift and O and it changes it to green. Shift and O again, changes it to white. And then again, changes it to black. And then again, red. So O would turn it off, O would turn it on, and then hold shift to change the color. Now, hopefully if you're red deficient, you're not green deficient or white deficient or black deficient, but um, you know, hopefully you're not, you can see at least one of those. Um, now I do it red because I can see that actually okay. Um, green actually would stand out a lot. Now this may not be best if your photo is filled with greens because it'd be harder to see, but if it is, then switch it to white or black or red if you can see red. So again, um, O to turn on your mask to see where you're doing your brush or to see where you're doing your gradient or your radial filters and then uh, shift O in order to change that color. Thanks for watching.